Questioning the, 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 the legitimacy of this government policy, it, fair enough. But the wider point of when our government comes up with a policy and tries to enact it, and that can get shut down by a foreign court, mm. that is a problem. The UN Refugee Agency warned the Home Office twice that their plan was unlawful. So it's not a shock. Dem what they're Denmark doing are trying is they're to do using, it as well. They're, they're using Where's the culture outrage? wars. They're playing, they're playing culture wars, like the fact they're now not, we're Denmark talking doing about... Denmark as well. Now, we're, we're not talking about Denmark. We're talking about the UK and our legal and moral responsibility to accept, accept asylum seekers. And may I just say, mm. we are not sending them to Rwanda for processing and then if they get asylum, we bring them back. No. If they get asylum... It's Rwanda. You cannot export a moral and legal if it's responsibility safe, for money. And by the way, the there's a cost of living crisis. It's costing more money to do this than it is to have... But it's a deterrent. Have, it's if they know deterrent. that they end up 20,000 miles away, however, however far Rwanda is, less are going to try that dangerous, perilous journey, which about 30 our or so died the other way. Our own government found in 2019 that any policy that focuses on stopping people from coming is only going to push more dangerous routes. It's not going to stop. Christine, very quickly. Well, very, if, quickly, if, very quickly. It, it, we have to also consider the total amount of immigration. It isn't just the illegal ones. Yeah. I mean, work visas are up by 50% since the pandemic, study visas mm -hmm. by 58%, family visas by 63%, asylum claims by 56%. We can't go on taking okay. a city the size of Southampton every year or a city the size of Birmingham every three years. We can't well, do it.